Hello everybody! How's it going? Welcome back to the third episode of The Push to Terrifying. In the previous two episodes, I took an adventure inside the purest towers of hell, and in the end everything went well as I wished it would. I was able to beat my first Pizzle Soul Crushing Tower, and I felt like I was prepared for Ring 9's release. Little did I know, it would only be the next day that I would have to wait for Ring 9's release. Let's go ahead and meet me at my new perch inside of Ring 9 to hear my plans for this episode. Holy crap, it's impossible! Ring 9 is, uh, actually here? Very early as well. I have some great news! As you can see behind me, Tons got into Ring 9 as a terrifying difficulty tower. But the issue is there's still quite a following that thinks it's an extreme difficulty tower. Which means until June 1st, which is when the difficulty polls are going to be ending, I am unsure for the future of this series. Let's hope and pray that Tun stays terrifying, please. But however, with Ring 9 finally here, I can get to work and get my job done. It's finally time for me to actually mark the true beginning of this series. In fact, I am looking at the tower I plan on doing right now. Tower of Bent Trauma is a tower that currently sits at the peak of Remorseless. Sadly, it seems as if people don't care about this tower, as people really care more about Toha, since it's actually insane. But I think this tower will benefit me much better as a player due to its gameplay style. Plus, I have heard some very good things about it. Let's go ahead and check it out. I already played for like an hour and did the uh, good old Atogu, but... Holy crap, I'm gonna be real with ya. Ring that on the ring slot looks out of place. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head over to Bent Trauma's location. Tower of Bent Trauma. Alright, let's go ahead and practice this final Dream. climb. It's so it's dumb. dumb. Wait, is Ake in here? It's really easy, but like... Is someone... Ooh. Is Ake in here playing Tears to the Maybe. Kitten's here?! Yeah, I know that. That was uh, one of those things. What?! Yes. Yeah. That was something that surprised me as well. Like, genuinely, just really shocked me. I love lagging. Okay, forever. Alright, let's go ahead and tie right. the final stretch. But look at this view from up here! That is- Oh, they put- they put Ventrum in a perfect spot. Hmm. Yeah, no, but like, I saw him join and I was like, oh my god. That's- the last time he's been in Jato is probably like, what now? A very long time Over ago. A like, year. I, 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 like, I had talked to him. Like, genuinely talked to him. Because he's a chill person, but like... Uh, if I remember correctly, he went straight over to Osu Mania, I believe. He started playing that pretty seriously, I think. But... It's cool to have him back. Now even, he's... It, even just for today, oh. that'd be so cool. That's so cool. He's here! Man, this final stretch is pretty freaking long. Is it? It is pretty long, I mean... Isn't it only like a couple of wraps? No, it's really much longer than that. I have to restart ever so often just to resync this spinner. You're still doing Togo, man. Yeah, because I pulled out VM at the end, and I've put it away now, like, with tools and coil, to be safe, but... Jesus. Bro, the final jump at COBT is actually garbage. Christ. That might Bro, that final that. jump is so freaking hard. Oh, that... oh you can do Not that? Is that enough? Like, wait, 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 wait. Is this enough? Oh! I just found a consistent strap for the final jump of Bed Trouble! That's so nice! Let's go ahead and see if I can do the entire final stretch of Bent Trauma. 
I actually did that in practice before Rain it's 9 release tricky. once it was like 100% confirmed. It is. It's nothing to laugh at. That final stretch is rough. I'm not- this final stretch I'm immediately having an issue with it being really clunky. Mm. Like, it feels yeah, really clunky it's... and I'm failing a lot because of how jank it is. And that's not necessarily size fault, but it's just like... Ugh. It's like, I don't want to fail because I got caught onto something that wasn't my fault or something dumb like that. Right, yeah. Bah! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, now that I'm actually in Ring 9 and actually being able to do some of these jumps in Bent Trauma that I originally thought were hot garbage, it's not nearly as bad as I was thinking it was. This transition especially is bad. In fact, I think I might have found a way to combat that. Hold on. So hold on a second. If I'm Say up this, at the though, top bent. and go... Yeah. If I'm at the top and do the trick where I'm bent... Seriously? I do this. Why is that? Okay. Why? Bruh, there's a wedge on, on this. So when you tilt, the, the wedge f with you. Oh, that's a problem. Mm. Alrighty, well, TNT again. Well, that's what practice is going to do for me. I've only played the final stretch of this tower, so I'm honestly scared to see what the inside is like. I have a... I have a uh, huge feeling I... that this is actually insane. Bruh! Yeah, the trust I, uh, I, didn't work. I wouldn't be surprised. Especially considering how un- I don't like this final jump. I'm gonna towers. fail it. Like... I'm like, gonna- keep... Yeah? Yeah! Yeah, you're gonna fail the final jump, and there's not much you can do about it, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that is so dumb! Like, you can practice it and then say, Okay, well, I've practiced it, and I'm good at it, so now I won't fail it. But you know damn well that that would be you lying to yourself. Well, guys who are watching and... this, you know who to complain to if I do fail this final jump. Blame yourself. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and for now skip over the final stretch, and I can probably I'm gonna get into a call with um, Dammy Whammy. No. And Dammy Whammy is gonna be able to uh, show me how to do those trusses correctly because they kind of suck, and I would rather have Dammy Whammy show. Mm hmm. Like, I've got a strat for the final jump, and, like, it's, and it's, like, the same strat that everybody else seems to use, but for some reason it's just, it doesn't feel 100% consistent. Bro, this first rap on 10 is kinda bad, but it's over a net, so I really cannot complain. <laughs> Bro, your voice keeps cracking. I disconnected. Bruh. I, I... So my first expectation of the inside, because remember, I always play towers from back to front, no matter what, is this is not that bad. Like, I feel v f like once I get to 10, I'm going to be fairly confident that I made it to the final stretch, which is nice. And it definitely seems like this tower is pretty short. So, I'm not gonna complain about that. The only hard jump on 10 is this one. And of course, if I fail that, I'm back down to like 8 or something. Ugh. One thing I'm immediately noticing, and this is something I am I was warned of very quickly, is this tower is not balanced. And typically, I have a huge issue with that, but so far, this is okay. Like, I'm not a fan of how it's unbalanced, but... I mean, it's all right, I guess. What? Wait, this jump is failable? That is so funny that that jump is actually kind of hard. Wow. 
unlocking that view and getting here on a real run. That is going to be an emotion that I've never felt before. Jeez, that is hard to take in. So what, I don't know much about this tower other than it has a good soundtrack. Because I use it in a, another, a couple videos of mine. And the fact that um, apparently the client objects are difficulty spikes for this tower. Which is interesting. That, you know, typically purism is really hard. Not the uh, client objects, but... We'll see. I don't... I'm not very confident that about this tower's very high rem stamp. I have a very good feeling that this is insane. Because of the punishment involved. And I think that's what sometimes people do not take into consideration. From the little bit I've played, it definitely seems like it is very consistent of a tower though like you can get consistent at it which is good so i'm hoping that this is one of those towers that you get you get to the ending and you're able to go ahead and do it pretty often but i definitely already can tell that this tower is going to make me a way better player because it has so much many like jumps that i definitely need training with which is good I really am glad I decided on this tower first for uh, Push to Terrifying in terms of actually being in Ring 9. What the hell is this jump, bro? Oh god. Bruh. What? This is the end of the. F oh my god. What? A two by two hole. You've got to be kidding me, Sai. That is insanely precise. Jeez. That is not very, uh, welcome, if you will. Also, because of what I've been told about this tower, I am really scared to see uh, client objects. This is the type of gameplay I want to get better at. So I am very welcome to playing this tower. But dear golly, this is going to be a grind. What is... What are these jumps? Why? Sai, come on! There's no way that you... No, you can't climb it. Animate on that. What?! I have no idea how to do this jump. And it's like you... Oh, you can go horizontal? That is wonky! That is the weirdest jump I think I have ever seen in my career in Obbying. What is that? Oh, and of course, there's tro- <sighs> Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. This tower is really gonna be interesting to do and- to do. And, like, actually in a real run. This is hard. It is really hard. I am- gonna be real with you. I feel like that this is probably SC. I guess the challenge is gonna be to do these floors individually right now. Like, I'm not gonna really care much about, like, getting runs, because I think it's so important that I actually, like, piece the puzzle together. Especially with how tricky this tower is. I think my goal for today is I'm gonna get this done. And that is really gonna be it for day one, because... I need, um, I, th I think Damn Jom is gonna have to help me here because there is a lot of. Oh, there, 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 there needs to be a lot of. I need to learn from him because I believe he's beaten a tower. I, he's either beaten it or got. Yeah, he's beaten a tower, so. I think that, um,. In terms of that regard, that will be very nice. 
And... Well, I don't remember VMing, so I think we just made our goal for today. Okay, that's cool. Wow, okay, we made it to the uh, final climb. Alright. Let's see how far I get before I fall, because I'm definitely am gonna fall here. Oh! I mean, I didn't get very far, but I really cannot complain. Okay. Honestly, I'm not too upset with today. I mean, did 9 and 10, and then got a little far on this, this final part, which... You know, I'm not gonna complain about, even though, like, yeah, I'm gonna be real with you, it's like, you know, like, nothing for this tower, but it's a start, and, well, I'm happy about that start, so, GG. Oh. Alright, are you ready to torture me with, um, bent trauma? Oh, great, there's a Toha raid already, Jesus Christ! Wait. Oh, um, is the lighting gonna go away off? Yes. Oh, that would be so cool. Oh. <laughs> you okay? So cool, that is so cool. You okay, bro? Okay, so basically, what you wanna do is just keep going like that, and then don't use the alignment keys, go down like twice or something. Okay. And then go like Okay, so basically you um you go diagonally and then unshift lock while, while still going diagonally. That is shift lock before you jump. What? Okay, that definitely didn't work for you. Hold on. I'll record it. That is so dumb. Why is this in here? So I tried to learn how to do trusts the good way, but I could not find anything that would work. I tried so many different ways to do the that technique or whatever, and it never worked. It was a waste of time. But in the end, though, I was able to go ahead and get intricate and find a strategy for me to be able to do that stinky final jump. I'm getting good with this final jump using the other technique. Ah, uh, that's good. Like, what's this? Just tilts it left a little bit. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god, it even has the Easter event place. What the hell? This is so cool. I know, I found that really cool as well. So cool. Oh, what's this? What? With me finally finding a very good technique for me to do this final jump with, it was finally time to move back into the final stretch and be able to go ahead and finish the rest of the puzzle. Yeah. Alright, where's the even worse trust jump at? I know you're here somewhere. Sadly cannot show you me practicing that really garbage trust transition that is a little bit before that final jump because me and Chloe started talking on private matters. But Needless to say, though, I was finally able to find a consistent technique for that garbage trust jump as well. So, I was then ready to go ahead and finally finish the rest of the puzzle and try to do the final stretch in one run. Surprisingly enough, I think my strategies fared well with me very quickly, as it only took me four and a half minutes after starting my attempts to be able to complete the final stretch for the very first time. I was very happy with this down, and I was excited to go ahead and progress further down the tower to see what hell lies there. Come on. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh, I feel happy about that. Freaking... <sighs> Final stretch done. Whew. At this point, it was getting near 1 in the morning, so it was pretty late. 
I went ahead and finished my business with the final stretch and did some final checks and balances with floors 9 and 10 before I went to bed and got up at a very early 3 p.m. Alright, um, good morning. I barely slept. So let's go ahead and head into, um, Ben Trauma, because, yeah, we need to practice. So yesterday we had quite a bit of trouble with 8. Like, I feel like 9 and 10 were pretty cool with, but 8 was a really different story yesterday, so I think we need to go ahead and, uh, get practicing, because, yeah, if you fail that floor, you're done. It's one of those floors that is 100% unsafe, and I think every floor is unsafe until you make it toward the end. Which definitely makes me question where this tower actually is on the chart, but hey, we'll find out when I beat it. And piss off 50% of people no matter what I chose, because that's what's inevitably going to happen anyway. Okay, did I mysteriously gain skill or something? Because now that is not hard. <laughs> Eight was... Well, it's not really easy, but it was way easier than it was yesterday. Well, I guess let's go ahead and do some more runs and then go ahead and finish it up. <sighs> I feel like 8 is so inconsistent, dude. Uh, why? Oh, flat side everywhere. This floor is is one of the worst ones. Really hope that there's not floors that are hard that are much worse than this. And if they are, they I want them near the beginning so that it's life is even easier there. Cause this feels so inconsistent. Probably because I'm not well practiced up, but it concerns me. But, there we go, we just did 8. I'm not going to complain about that, that is hard. Oh, I failed that jump. Shame. Literally failed like the first kind of hard jump of the floor, that sucks. Now I'm having troubles with that jump today. I really do not like how this tower is inconsistent for me. Like, all of a sudden now jumps that were previously so easy are so inconsistent. And it's such a big problem. Because normally it's like, oh, I could fall down to like 8 or something. Now in this situation, yes I can, but this tower is so punishing. If I get an inconsistent jump and it's over nothing, which is like 90% of the tower, that's not good. It really is not good news and this is not good like I don't understand this is at the same time right one of the con most consistent towers of the game and one of the most inconsistent towers and that's really alarming because no matter what I'm doing I'm always hitting my head <clears throat> which is frustrating I am not comfortable with that 2x2 two two hole at all I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore it I'm gonna go ahead and go through 8 again because, yeah. I really like this tower, but I'm really concerned I'm not gonna like it because of how inconsistent it is. And I hope that is something that can be healed with time, but it's definitely something that's scaring me going into this. Really hope that it won't ruin the tower for me. Well, that makes that jump free. I don't know why I've been wrapping around and treating it like one the entire time. That also makes that jump easier going on the left side. Bruh, why am I so dumb? Okay, that makes 8 way easier now. Nice. No! Wow. 9 and 10 and then making it that far on final? Very impressed. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna be real. There ain't really nothing to really write home about 7. It's fairly simple. Which is good. There's a there's a bad apple here and there, but... Overall, 
I find this to be uh, quite simple. So I don't think we're going to be on 7 for uh, too long here. And we're going to be able to move on to 6 pretty quickly. Yeah, one of my first attempts, we're already done with 7. So 7's fairly easy. That's good. Let's see how far I can get before I fall, inevitably. I'm curious. Ah, uh, nope. I failed the jump and I wasn't able to net myself. Probably gonna have to ask someone for that jump because it's genuine. Oh, see, this is the thing about muscle memory is because your brain is so wired, you don't realize at times what you're doing, and that's what I've been doing wrong. You jump at the very edge. That makes that jump free. I feel so dumb, but hey, that happens sometimes. Muscle memory sucks sometimes. Like, it's great when you are doing, like, you know, when you're in the groove and stuff. But sometimes when you're, like, messing up and you ha you'll have no idea why, because your brain is like, well, I'm doing muscle memory. It's got to be fine. So. Oh, okay, that's funny. That was the weirdest flat side I've ever done, but I'm chill with floor six now what is this oh boy this floor looks fun so you need to what that's a spicy beginning oh no what How in the world am I supposed to see that? What? <laughs> Sigh! Alright, so now when you're on it though, it's easy. Why is there a trust there? <laughs> this ain't an easy difficulty, Towers. Oh, that's a catch net. That's clever. Okay. So, six has some spice to it. There's a lot going on on this floor. Should be interesting. Oh, why? Why? Why does that happen? Oh, <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. Oh, that is so bad. Oh, that is really not good news. Okay, just at six. Good. Alright. I came down to floor five, and I see this. What the hell is that? Ugh. <laughs> oh. I really hope that's just Deco and not like a really stupid part. Oh no. At least this isn't. What do you do? This is trippy. Sai, what is this? Sai? Sai? What is this? That is so cool and screwed at the same time. And that's four, not five. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, we'll be back there later because this is actually five. There's these two spots where you go into holes and they're one stud wide, and I am having so much trouble with them being really inconsistent. And that's really the only issue I have with this floor, so. This ain't that bad either. 
Yeah, of course you can't go that way. That'd be too easy. Why is it so easy to get pushed out? Because you only have a couple frames, I swear, to land that. That is so annoying. <sighs> Everywhere. It's not hard, you idiots. Why? It is so easy. Why? I keep feeling that easy rap. Come on. Yeah, floor five is causing me so many issues because of three jumps. And all three of them are really inconsistent. Insanely inconsistent. This one. This one. And then the last jump I'm having issues with is really dumb. This one, literally easy and free. I, I somehow have first issues with it. I don't understand. Hopefully this attempt I'll get lucky and do the floor. No! Oh, I legit failed the- Oh, that is so dumb. Uh, I really don't want to play through this floor again. Yay! That, that took me a while to do. Whew, floor six, finally. Jeez, that is so hard, dude. Woo! I don't know why that's so hard. Nice. GG. Alright, after that freaking nightmare, what's practice for? I don't know why that was so hard to do. I noticed this button part here at the very beginning, because this is part of floor 4. It is garbage. <laughs> like, I don't mean to be blunt, but that is way too tight. <laughs> Bruh, I haven't been able to do this once. That is so dumb. There we go. Why is that so freaking hard? Wow. Also, this floor seems very chill. Not gonna lie. It's a chill one. This floor uses a lot of wedges, which is, a, which is not good because wedges have weird hitboxes that can push you off. So, it is definitely a concern I have on this floor is that... It's going to be one of those that every once in a while, it just randomly decides you're not going to progress, and that's going to get really annoying really quick. But, eh, who knows? We'll see when we get into a real run, though. Which is definitely going to be very soon. So far, this is... I've not had this much fun in a while playing this game. At this point in time, I was very happy with the progress I was getting during practice. I genuinely thought this tower could easily be my new favorite, and I absolutely had a ball with it. But, there were still three new floors to practice before I was able to go ahead and do an actual run of this and be able to give a fair judgment on the entire tower by itself. And then, we'd have a long journey in order to try and complete the entire tower. What is this rap? That's funky. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's actually kind of cool that you can kind of get lucky. Oh no, another spitting trust contraption. Oh, what are these? Down? Are you you're serious? What is this? What? This is some of the weirdest? Mm. 
Well, I don't know how to feel about this. Um, other than, fortunately, it's only on 4-3. It could have been worse. I have yet to be able to do this once. This is the weirdest contraption I have ever seen. That is so weird. Wow. Very creative idea. I love it, but... God, that is really worrying. Okay, so I found out that you, ha you can ignore the trusses. So that will um, drastically help. But... I need to go ahead and finish and try and do the rest of this floor, which is going to be a freaking battle in and of itself, so this should be fun. Nice, floor three down. <laughs> That's the timer is not nearly as bad as I thought it was as well. It's not that bad anymore, but feeling pretty chill about this. Really good tower so far. Good stuff. Let's get to two now. All right, I'm not the most intelligent person. There's a little button part that at, you do at the uh, beginning of floor two, and um, well, let's just say it wasn't very intelligent. I didn't realize that the part changed when you press the button, so I spent a good couple minutes very confused on what to do on the uh, second floor there and absolutely suffered, so yeah, that was a little bit funny, but floor two overall was not that big of a pain, and I was already sensing that I was ready to go ahead and do some actual runs on this massive monstrosity. Alright, I'm good at that now, but still, it is definitely not my favorite part of the tower. We're already on floor one! Wow, practice has fallen by on this tower really quick. Floor one's really simple as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what the end of two is like, and then I think we are ready to actually do some runs on this already, which is really impressive. Oh, wow. This tower is so good. I am really excited to get into playing this. Probably going to be a little frustrating, but I think overall I'm going to have a blast. But let's take one last view here. Alright. After around, probably in total, around two and a half hours of effort, it was finally time to move on from practice and to actually get this grind going. I was so excited, but I knew that I needed to live stream it on Saturday, so I had to be very conservative with the little bit of time I had on this tower, so I'd be able to live stream it and potentially get some very good runs going. So, for the next two days, I had to be very conservative with when I grinded the tower and for how long, to make sure I didn't accidentally fluke it or something, so that I could still live stream it. Let's get this show on the road! Really excited to play this. Oh, so excited to grind this tower. It's gonna be a freaking blast, I think. Let's go. I am still not used to being able to enter Ring 9. <laughs> that is something I'm not used to. Alright, let's go. Tower of Bent Trauma by Psychotic Mute. Should be a fun one. We'll see. Really excited to give this tower an actual go. Oh, is Ring 9's quick reset still broken? Oh, uh, that's going to be so annoying. Oh, okay, that was funny. That was uh, that was a uh, really dumb way to fail. Okay. Um, alrighty then. 
Awesome! I knew that was gonna happen uh, one, once in... Uh, I cannot speak. I knew that was gonna happen soon enough because there's a lot of trusses in this tower where you go right on the corners and you know what that means. Uh, awesome. I'm pro. I am such a pro. I can't even do the first jump of two. Let's go. Well, I feel like an idiot the entire time now with the uh, button there. That? Wh why? Why? No wonder why it was so hard because. Oh, jeez. Oh, I feel so dumb. Bruh, I landed on it and then my mind was like, hey, what? And then I fell. <laughs> oh, how am I going to land on this, though? Eh, nope. <laughs> nice, alright. No need to reset anymore because I got the button. Oh! Bruh. Very funny. Very funny. Wait, what? Okay, um... If I can get that muscle memory down, that would be really helpful. Didn't know that was possible. <laughs> Something tells me you need to get pretty lucky for that, though. So, we'll see. Alright, time to fill this. Because it's going to happen. Wow, I actually passed that first try. You're serious. I'll... I saved myself. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, really? I didn't get the ladder. Okay, I mean, I passed the, uh, the trust car carousel or whatever you want to call it, but. Nice, man, it's a four already. Jeez. I forgot. But fortunately, if you mess up this, you can easily just go for another rotation, which is nice because it's made well. All right, five. <laughs> that was even worse than the first time I fell. Ah! <laughs> ah! Really good run right there. GG. Very happy with that progress. Nice. Almost made it past the first half already. That's insane. Oh, this tower is so good. I love it so much. Creepy remarks aside, I was really enjoying myself on this tower, and I was having an absolute ball with it. But with my quick progress to five, I decided I needed to stop and take a little bit of a break before I came back for later. I knew that it wouldn't take very long before I got what I was considered to do a very considerable run and was going to have to go ahead and wait and go ahead and wait until I was able to wake up Saturday to be able to go ahead and be able to progress even further. Hi. Okay. So I made it to floor 5 of Ventrom already. But see you, I didn't get in! <laughs> okay, time to play Ben Trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it to six. Cause... You know. What? Okay! Okay, I reset my run in Ben Trauma, then my, then my character does the, the Dagfish. The awesome. fish? What the hell am I on about? Bruh! I, I can't even get to two. Have you beaten Ben Trauma? 
I have not beaten Bent Trauma because I've just been like focusing on the SCs and COL mostly. Well, you I've can... already. Hmm? Bent Trauma is gonna get moved to insane. I'm just saying. Yeah, it might. I think it's going to. For me, okay, I feel like it's like mid rem, but I know in the back of my mind, like it's insane. If that makes sense. Mhm. Mm like what no clip people did understand. Oh yeah, this does feel very peak rem, but you also get that memory of when you're playing le playing it legit, where you think it's insane. I I think it's insane, even though it feels like a mid rem to me. Like, so, if you get okay. what I mean, it puts it to good use. Okay, so, I, I, I already know you know this joke, but my viewers don't. So basically, I was joking to my friends that- hold on. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like that sinister laugh. <laughs> I think I just made a fall for it again! <laughs> no, no, no! Licking these nuts! <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I have a joke um, where I DM'd some people and said I found out one of the Guardian's names. I'll be right there. And um, I said the name was Rhydon. Oh my, I, I, no, no. Because <laughs> no, they ride on no, these nuts. No, no. And oh, then alert, right alert just. I got alert again. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I got him twice. Oh, alert. <laughs> You might be the most innocent person in this community, but you do a bad job at finding jokes like that. <laughs> also, um, Randy tried getting me hard with, uh, with one thing. Gus? Um, Gus? No, no. So, you know how, uh, p like, there's a new trick where it's, like, a Pokemon named Sockon? <laughs> Sockon these nuts. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's actually funny. And you want to know the worst part? He's just like, hey, are you a trained professional? Do you know what this Pokemon name is? Can you tell me? And, and he tried getting me to say it, but I already knew the joke a while ago. So that's cause... actually a Pokemon's name, right? Yeah. So back when Pokemon Go first came out, it was Muck that everybody joked about. Uh-oh. Because... Because of what happens when you spell it backwards. <laughs> I remember back when um, Pokemon Go was a thing, I was going to the theme park with like some younger cousins of mine. And one of them is like eight. And I, and I have like an older cut like she ain't older than me, but she's like, um, like a little younger than me. And I tried to tell her the, uh, the muck joke. Uh oh. And the, uh, and the little one that's like eight heard it over and just kept saying muck backwards the entire way back no, home no, <laughs> no. you want to know that what makes it worse <laughs> if they were literally like below the age of 13 which they probably were they um, are which one what do you mean the old my like the the younger <laughs> Like, the really young one? You'd have you'd have concerned parents of others just <laughs> hearing your underage daughter just saying <laughs> it's like they're begging for it. Oh <laughs> That's the worst thing. I thought this channel was PG thirteen, but we might need to switch it up here soon. <laughs> <laughs> That is the weirdest username I've ever seen, but they beat Curved Ascent. The square roof of 10. Oh wait, is that the square root? OF 16! HOW DID YOU F*** THAT UP SO HARD?! <laughs> YOU IDIOT! Ah. Alright, I'm at my- I'm- 
Now let my PB jump. Good luck. Yes! New PB. Awesome. Long <laughs> jump onto a ladder. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I'm on the part of the tower where if I fall at all, my run is over. Reminds me of curved ascent. Okay. Okay. I'm completely like... over the edge. Awesome. And if I pass this floor, I might be able to make it to the end, so... I'm gonna turn on the fan. Did I just first try six? You f bet I did! <laughs> I'm on seven! What the hell? Soon enough, you're just gonna go- you're just gonna fluke to floor- To floor ten, and then fail the final. Well, Blabber. you- everybody fails the final. I'm just saying. You do understand how this tower works, right? Yeah. Oh, this jump sucks. Oh, I got it. What? I just got Bentrama. No, I failed an easy jump and fell. All the right. way back to the beginning. I'm Holy crap, it. seven already. It took me in total around an hour in these two sessions to be able to make it to floor seven already. I was making some insanely quick progress and I was very happy with what I was getting. So, I went ahead and logged off for the day, and was ready to live stream and get some progress going live. That is not what I want to get. It's this. So, I have only played this tower from the beginning for, like, a total of an hour, and I've made it to seven. So, it's... Already getting some good progress. Already getting good progress. Let's go ahead and head right into this. This tower is one of the most consistent towers I have ever played in Jeto. It is amazingly consistent. I have my opinions about the difficulty of this, but I'm going to keep those to myself until the video comes out in the future. I'm not going to bore you with watching through the stream at all, but I was able to get some very good runs and some very good progress during this stream that I was really happy with. Seven. I don't know what it's going to be like for, um, actual final, but, um, flat side. <laughs> oh, I gotta do floor eight again. Uh... Oh, I hate who's doing that. No! I didn't. That's how it ends. Physics twice in a row. I got physics twice in a row. Bru Goddamn physics got me twice. If I would have gotten flat side on that truss, I would have been able to have a- I would have made it to final. That is so dumb. Why? How did I not get that? Ugh. You know what I'm noticing about this tower? What's happening is once I- I'll get a really dumb and like stupid fail and then I'll progress a little bit and then just get another dumb one.
That's what I feel like it's happening. It's so frustrating. Flat sided. No. My button progress! I like that bug! Oh, now I gotta do the garbage jumps again! No! I don't wanna do those again! <laughs> uh, why is this tower? Like, it's not size fault. There are so many jumps in this tower that you can just walk off of for no reason. It's so annoying. <whistles> Bro, I forgot to make a message last time. All good. Good luck. Thank you very much, Peridot. Peridot, Peridot, for the uh, two. Again. No! Go <laughs> <laughs> that is called having a good reaction time. But the bad news is I have to do this outside again. Oh no. <gasps> Gesundheit! Jesus Christ. My stepfather's dying. <laughs> Again! Let's go! Every single time. Every time. Like, every single time. Something dumb happens, and right after it happens again. Nine! Nine! One last hard jump in the tower. One last one. Or for the floor. Here it is, this one. I need to stop. My heart's skipping beats. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and take. I'm gonna take a breather for a couple minutes. Cause my heart's skipping beats. I was not expecting to pass that jump. Lincoln Park intensifies. Thank you for the two pounds, Saturn. All right. See you in a couple minutes.
I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It was gonna happen. <laughs> I do not care at all. <laughs> I do not care. I know if people are going, boop, boop, boop. I don't care. It was inevitable that was gonna happen. Nothing else happened after that, really, but I thought it was clear. I finally made it to the final stretch, so I thought as if it would finally soon be over, as I could consistently make it there, right? Sadly, wrong. Unfortunately, a couple days before this recording, Roblox pulled out a physics update that made pretty much playing obbies painful. It was very common now to walk off of anything, and it felt like the entire tower was luck-based. Fail, after fail, after fail. I couldn't cling onto wedges, I couldn't land on jumps correctly, I kept getting flat-sided, with me questioning why things were happening. It wasn't my fault, but I was under so much pain and agony. Just when I thought my grind was soon ending, this tower was proving to continue to bite me hard. Every time I thought I had it down, I, I really didn't. I kept falling, and I just kept falling. I played for around an hour afterwards, and didn't get to 8 at all. I took a break and decided to do a stream in my Discord server, link on screen if you're interested in joining. Where finally, my luck was getting back in shape, and I was sitting face to face with Sai's brutal creation yet again. So lucky. Sadly, as much as I wanted to go ahead and get this tower down today, I was gonna have to leave empty handed and come back tomorrow to see what this tower will do. Let's put it short, it was basically an entire day with a fail montage. Yes. I did not once make it to the final stretch that day. The, um, Instead, which is fail after fail like, after fail. I would wet. probably, in total, spend around four hours grinding TOVT that day. Nothing ended well at all. I just constantly fell and I fell. Every single walk off, clipping to the edge, whatever, was making me want to quit this whole ordeal. What? I know I'm not showing it very well. In fact, this is just a 40 minute footage I just cut for you, compared to the four hours I had in store. But it was definitely now my most painful experience I've ever had in JTO. Likely because it was in my mind. Hey, this is SC. This should be done by now. I think if this was SC, I wouldn't have been so upset. But I was simply so tired of this tower at this point, I was able to pretty much get no progress other than walking off at certain places. It got so bad 
I knew what I had to do. Alright. I'm tired of this tower. Difficulty pull area. We're gonna go in here. Tower of Bent Trauma. Low insane. No way this is REM. There is no way in f***ing hell it's REM. There is no way that it's REM. There's just no way. It's way harder to me than Double Trouble and Difficulty Chart, and yet this is somehow REM. Excuse me? I'm not playing this anymore. Until Roblox reverse their physics, I'm done playing this tower. So, I'm done with this. I'm just gonna move on. Probably not play Jato until Roblox reverses these physics, because I am so freaking tired of playing this tower and just keep getting luck-based crap happen to me all the time. I quit. I'm done. Yeah, guess what happened a couple hours later? Roblox reverted the physics. <laughs> I was really fed up with this tower, so when I got the news they reverted it, I had no business at all in going back and just simply trying it again. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and just wait till tomorrow and continue on from there. And hopefully then, finally, this grind could end. The physics overhaul was great, but now the problem is, Jato was now pressuring me in order to get Bent Trauma done. And it was only going to make this grind even worse. Alrighty, so today is April 26th. And, um, cows got implemented into the game. And I would like to pet- Dude. <laughs> the first thing I see in the chat. The first thing I see in the chat. Oh, for crying out loud. Let's just move on. But yeah, cows is put into Ring 2 servers. And when I logged on... I saw a couple of my friends on this account who are curators in there who are testing it. So, they really want to get it out quick it seems, so I really want to get this done today. So I can do- I can play Mer Cows, a citadel that was two years in the making, was now sitting in Ring 2 being bug tested by curation and moderation team. At any moment, the dev team could have decided that bug testing was over and released it to the public. This was something that was very scary, and I really wanted to beat cows. I knew it was near peak remorseless, and I did hear some news that this citadel was extremely long, so I knew this was right up my arsenal and alley. I really wanted to go ahead and have Bent Trauma done, and not go ahead and have to stop grinding and go do cows, because I'd rather do cows at this point after all the pain and frustration I've had with this tower. So, now I was in a time crunch. At any second, any day, or it could be a couple months later from now. Could they have decided that it was finally time to release this two-year-old citadel that has been in the progress for a while to the public? So, needless to say, when I was able to make it to the final stretch, pretty much my first attempt I made to floor three that day, I was extremely thrilled and I really wanted that attempt to be it. That's I made it 
so there so quickly though. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Hopefully no one saw that. No one did good. Just like my two other attempts, I simply came up short. But with how quick I made to the final stretch, I was confident that this tower was going down today. I concentrated very hard for the next around 40 minutes trying to make sure I was able to go ahead and get that next final stretch attempt. I kept pushing hard and hard through the pain and pressure. I went ahead and was very quiet and pure concentration. I wanted to go ahead and get at least one more final stretch attempt. I was confident that this tower was going down and I really wanted to get it down before Kaz's release. So I kept working hard and hard. But fortunately, another opportunity opened up and before I knew it, I was sitting right on the final climb's doorstep once again. felt so confident on a final stretch attempt. <sighs> Dude, that actually makes me up. That's the only final stretch run I've legitimately feel upset for. That should have been it. Bro, four final stretch attempts and I haven't even made it to the two bad trust jumps. I am legitimately concerned. Oh. <laughs> Oh, in an hour though, we've made it twice, so. I mean, hopefully we can only continue it, but why? Why is it me every single time that has all of this bull crap happen to them? I'm t four final stretch fails because I couldn't catch myself. That is so dumb. I just want this to be over. This is the most painful experience I've ever had in Jato. And it just continues and continues to go ahead and make itself worse and worse. Oh, I just want to move on. I was really sad after this run. I thought for sure that would have been it. I felt so confident with every jump. And it was that stupid wedge transition that got me again. I was genuinely concerned that I was really far from completing this tower. I had not made it to the two very terrible trust transitions that make up a lot of the final climb's difficulty. And I still had four attempts there. How many more attempts was it really going to take in order for me to get this down? I had to go ahead and eat dinner as much as I really did not want to. I had about an hour before I had no choice but to go ahead and start working on school. So I had about an hour to pray that I would just get one lucky attempt. This grind has been by far my most painful and most frustrating, even though I haven't really shown it very well. But, just like any other time, I had to persevere hard. And, it all ended out well, because just like before, I was right on this tower's front doorstep right again. And I was confident that this would be the last time.
May luck be with me. Alright, before I show you my reaction, let's take a break and talk about my sponsor. Nah, don't worry, I'm just joking. But seriously, this video is long as hell. Like, look at this hell. It's long. And I am sorry for having to make you sit here and watch me beat a tower like this for so long. So therefore, I hate to break it to you, but this is the future of this series. On Saturday, Andy's pushed to terrifying videos. You will see my progression and then me being a tower as well with my reaction and grading it. On Wednesday, you'll be able to see me do a voice commentary on that tower for those who want to see that. So I know this is annoying, but I hope you understand. My next tower I plan on doing is really long, potentially an hour long. I really cannot fit that into a video that's already probably going to be an hour long. So I hope you guys understand. And this will be the future of this series. So, if you like to see the funny moments and the progression, feel free to watch these. But if you just want to watch the tower and hear my tips and tricks, go ahead and just watch my voice commentaries. I hate to do that, but I really hope you guys understand. Because I really don't want these videos to turn into 3 hour long videos, because they could easily do that. I cut out a lot on purpose so that you guys wouldn't have to sit through a lot of stuff. I hope you guys understand once again, but anyways, back up to me. On top of bent trauma. May luck be with me. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I 
I am so lucky I didn't fail those two garbage trust transitions. Oh, I thought I- Alrighty, I took some time and I think I am ready to go ahead and give my final results for Tower of Bent Trauma in terms of what I think about its gameplay and such. Personally, I think this tower is my favorite in the game, even though I had immense pain, frustration, and agony trying to get it down. But honestly, I am very happy I did this tower. I feel like I did a great job deciding on doing this tower instead of something like, you know, Toha, like many people are doing. It's really a shame because what there's the Kinos, I checked, it has like 71 victors. And I believe Ben Trauma just got 75th victor. So it's really hard and sad to me that... This tower is getting so neglected because it's only high rem, so many people are really neglecting the tower heavily. And it's really sad because, like I said, it's such a great tower. I would highly, highly recommend you guys check this out. Um, I know it's not insane, so people are like, oh, I, don't, I don't want to do it. This tower makes m make me feel way better at this game. I feel like this was a great choice instead of doing Toha. I feel much better at the game, and I feel like this tower genuinely helped me. So, I am very happy with my choice of doing Bent Trauma. So, let's go ahead and talk about the gameplay. Now, this tower is really hard for me to grade because there are so few victors, and opinions are mostly good, but I have heard a few opinions that are negative, so... I could be very easily over be overrating this tower, which could be a massive problem, but hopefully all will be well, and um, that I think that I will be given the right scores. The gameplay on this tower is impressive. You know, typically I don't like punishing towers. I have a very negative opinion on on COQ, so. Punishment ain't my thing, but I feel like this tower knows how to do it correctly. This tower is nice and short, meaning, you know, you won't lose like 15 minutes of progress because it's such a short tower. The tower is only about 7 minutes long if you go at a pretty good pace. It's really short. And there are, there's a bunch of structures that are decoration that you can land on that can save yourself. And... Typically when you do fall, you can land on one of these pieces of decoration and only go to like the beginning of the floor or a little bit worse. So it honestly makes this tower way more bearable and way more enjoyable and it makes the gameplay way easier to take in. Now because of that as well, you might think, oh that means it's high rem. It absolutely isn't. This is definitely a low insane and I absolutely... 100% think it's a low insane. I feel like this would be um, tip rem if potentially the final climb didn't exist. But honestly, I think the final climb is what made the tower so prevalent. I feel I don't know if I would have chosen to do Bentrum if it wasn't for the final climb because, you know, the final climb is very... It's like a big cornerstone of the tower. And when many people did play Bentrauma... They play the final climb, they don't take a look at anything else. So it's essentially a big part about this tower is that final climb and holy crap. <laughs> and it definitely packs a punch in terms of nerves. This is the most nerve wracking tower I've ever played in Jato by a mile. It is so nerve wracking, you get really nervous. It definitely gets you going. But now seriously though, let's go ahead and rate the gameplay. The gameplay is insanely good. It is some of the it is probably the best gameplay I've ever seen in Jato. And I absolutely love this tower to death. I think it is so good. And pretty much from the few people that I've been able to talk to and that have played this tower, it's pretty much agreed upon that this tower is insanely good and is definitely one of, if not the best towers in the game. So therefore, I feel very comfortable giving this tower's gameplay a 9. This is the best gameplay I have ever seen, but 
you know, it does have a little bit of some hiccups. It does have some spikes. Like, 1 through 4 is, like, filler for this tower. It's essentially filler. And then 5, 6, 7, 8 are, like, where the tower is. You pretty much have four floors of the tower, if that makes sense. Of course, other than Final Stretch. But that's essentially where all of this tower's difficulty is. And that does cause some frustrating and some annoying things. So, therefore, I do think I have to tack off that. But overall, I think the gameplay is insanely good. Enjoyment. I had a painful experience with it, but I still absolutely adored this tower. And I think it is the best tower in Jato, without a question. There is no close second place. I'm, unless I play something else in Ring 9 that I think is really good, but I really doubt I'm going to. This is one of the most enjoyable and fun towers in the game. And when I was talking with Gamma, he said something that was a really good point. You know a tower is good if you fail its final stretch and just want to continue playing. And I think that sums this tower up very well. Even though it's very punishing and you will get mad and upset. And it, you saw what it happened to me. You always, in the end, want to come back and go ahead and finish it off. So I am extremely happy that I did what I did, and I am absolutely going to give this tower a high enjoyment score of a 9.5. This is one of the most enjoyable experiences you can have in Jato, and I feel like all around, everybody is going to have fun with this tower. It is definitely one of the best towers I have ever seen, and I think it is going to be really tricky for this tower to be topped. Also, did I say nine and a half? I meant, I meant eight and a half. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would personally rate this a nine and a half, but I think that, you know, the average player would absolutely lose their mind. So I absolutely think it's a um, eight and a half in that regard. A 17 and a half score is super high. I thought I was never going to give a tower in this series a score higher than a 16. But here we are with Bent Trauma. This is my favorite tower I have ever played. I would personally give this a score of an 18 and a half if I could. Or... Sorry, wouldn't it be... Yeah, 18 and a half. I wish I could do that, but honestly, I do feel like... I have also seen some people go, Ugh, Bent Trauma's overrated. And obviously, you're still going to have those people, but I feel like overall, this is going to be one of the best experiences in Jato. And I feel like that enjoyment score will never be topped potentially ever with any tower in this game. I am incredibly happy with this tower. I am very happy with how it turned out. And personally, for those of you who are kind of at the high insane skill level, I would highly recommend doing this tower. If you're kind of trying to get into the swing of SCs, I personally would not recommend this tower as it is really punishing, has some complex jumps. This is a tower that you best wait to do later. And even though I'm, like, at a high insane skill level, this tower, I feel like I am so much better at Jato now. Like, I feel like I could do some really tricky jumps and stuff now, and I feel a lot more confident in myself. So I am extremely happy with my decision to do this tower. It is among the best that I have ever seen, personally. So... Yeah, honestly, I'm very happy with this tower. It's definitely a low insane. You can cry about it. It's going to be rated up to low insane. I'm willing to bet you. I've only seen a couple people who think that this is REM, so... If you sat all the way through this 90-minute video without stopping, I heavily question your mental sanity to be watching these videos. But thank you for watching. I absolutely love this tower and had a blast. And, well, let's take a look at the board. Tower of Bent Trauma gets what I'm 100% sure is its permanent home in first place. And the Pito Towers sit below with scores that do not compare to Bent Trauma at all. Will the next tower I do be able to somehow beat Bent Trauma? Or will it scramble up the Pito Towers it did previously? We will have to see. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you Wednesday for the voice commentary on Tower of Bent Trauma for those of you who want to watch and give it a shot yourself. Have a nice one, everybody. Goodbye.